the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request. Please come forward, state your name and address, please. Good evening. Uh, my name is Terry Parkins. I live at 4474 Mayhem Drive in Hay Highway, Georgia. Um, I'll keep uh, my comments as short as I can. Uh, just need some clarification on a couple of items, and I would like to make uh, a couple of suggestions uh, to the proposal. Uh, starting with the first item, minimum lot frontage and lot size. I wasn't sure what that was. I found out about the meeting uh, late last week, so I hadn't had a chance to, to look that up. But I just wanted to make sure what that was, the, the minimum lot uh, size. Okay, that, um, that is not in your pack for LDR amendments. I think you're referring to the zoning cases. We just well, have, yeah, yeah. Um, in most every zoning district, there is a requirement for creating new parcels as a minimum width and a minimum land area that's associated with each zone. Well, this says a lot containing a replacement billboard shall meet the minimum frontage and lot size requirements of the zoning district in which they're located. And I think we would be allowed in commercial and industrial zones. Which, which section are you reading from? I am reading from section 230-95, it looks like 2, D2. Page 5. Yep, page Looks like it was item three and it was scratched through and it's now item right. two. On page five, the proposal is to delete one of those requirements for replacement billboards. Right, the replacement billboard shall be considered the principal structure on the landmark. Yeah, we're deleting that. Right. I, I agree with that, but the sentence uh, directly under that. I think it makes us meet the standard minimum. Right, which lot for commercial zones is 60 yeah. feet wide. It's 60? Oh, okay. Okay, that, that shouldn't be an issue at all. Uh, second item is the setbacks, which is the item number three directly under that. Uh, I think the old ordinance required us to have a five-foot setback. And this is stating that we would have a setback in accordance with the principal building setback line which, to be honest, would be a burden to us. We're not a building, we're a sign. So we would like to maintain a closer to the road. I mean, that's the whole reason is to show to the road. So if we're, a, you know, have a setback of 50 feet or whatever the building setback line is for those particular zones, that would put us a good bit off the road. Mr. Park, your thoughts on that? Um, it's the requirement here is that the, the new billboard structure would meet the same setback requirements as a building, mm -hmm. uh, which in commercial zones is not a large distance. It's like 15 and 20 feet in some cases. Can we put a number to that then? So that we yeah, if we could put 15, I think we'd be fine with that if we could say 15 foot setback. Okay, you can make that recommendation as a change if you like. Uh, I have of course, I'm okay. confused of where we are on in this. We're trying to find it over here. Page, page five. Page five. five. Oh, okay. Letter H, section 2H. Okay. Now, which one? Number three. Yep, number three. Okay. Thank you. And I think if we could go with, you know, I'd prefer it to be five or ten, but I'm certainly not going to uh, disagree with 15. What are the standards currently for a sign? For freestanding signs, you've got to be at least five feet off of a property line and 25 feet away from another freestanding sign. Okay. Um, I know when, when there's power lines involved and the buildings involved, then sometimes greater numbers are dictated. But for a typical freestanding sign, it would be five feet. Freestanding sign would be a billboard. Would it? Yes. That would be a billboard. Okay. It's five feet. Five feet is the standard. Okay. In this case, the replacement one, uh, we can make it consistent as five feet or 15 feet. Since in the large committee meeting, we talked about 10 feet. Mm -hmm. That's what we would discuss. I think we probably, if there's some confusion about it, especially the way this reads, if we consider this, we need to think about putting a number in, in there as far as that footage goes so it's real clear. 
I think that would be more consistent because, like industrial zones, for example, right. the building setbacks are greater. Right. So, Mr. Mark, I'm looking for your guidance. Is 10 feet a good number? Or? I think 10 would be fine. It's more than the smaller signs, and it does keep a distance away. I think that would be easier to administer. No, that certainly would be good with us. Okay. Okay. Uh, since we're talking about setbacks, the side yard, I didn't realize we had a five foot side yard setback now. I would suggest doing a zero setback, and the reason being is when we build a sign, we want it to be an accessory use, so we don't want to impede the property, or we want to impede with as limited impact as possible. So we build a lot on the side yard lines in other communities. Obviously, we have that one here. But we can live with five if, if that's what we need to do. But I would suggest a zero a side yard. We had imposed a five foot for regular signs so we did not crowd other properties. We okay. would sometimes have signage of our own, um, and certainly buildings. Um, I just thought I'd make a suggestion. <coughs> yeah. uh, we can live with five, I mean. Yeah. Okay. So it required mm -hmm. 10 foot from front yard <coughs> setbacks. And, and I'll run down there as, as quick as possible. Uh, the next one is the uh, square footage of 300 square feet. We've got size of standard larger bulletin size of 378 square feet. We would certainly want to at least maintain that, or we'd be good with if we take down a 300, we go back a 300. We take down at 378, we'd like to build back to 378. Because this is all under capital replaced anyway. I'm not talking about any new permits. So you're saying the standard sign is 378? 378 square feet is the standard bulletin size, yes, in our industry. And that's across the whole United States. Now we do have smaller signs, so I'm not opposed to if we take down a 378, let us at least build back the 378. The way this is, if I took down a standard 378, I'd be building back a non-standard 300, which I'd probably not want to do. 